everybody, Chris with South Carolina Gun School. We're out here at Train and Learn 2022 right outside of St. Louis. And I'm here with the Kill Bay uh, Taylor Defense Group, correct? Uh, he was out here teaching us some medical stuff, uh, how to save people's lives, you know, all the right things to do, uh, all the wrong things to do. He talked about some of his, his stories, gave us some of his experiences, which was really cool. I really enjoyed the medical portion. I mean, to me, that was up there at the top out of everything we did. I learned a lot from it. You know, I, I've taken some medical stuff before. I uh, really kind of just stopped the bleed and everything. And then it, it was just a great experience, man. Um, you were medic in the Army, correct? Yeah, one time, yeah. Okay. And that's, you let that carry over into the civilian world? Yeah, pretty much, man. Uh, yeah, so I, I was a medic. Um, ended up going the Green Beret route. Right. And, um, did some Green Beret things. I wasn't a SF medic. Um, I was actually an engineer and became a team sergeant. And, but I cross trained. You know, our 18 Delta was a badass, and they uh, definitely taught us a lot of stuff and taught a lot of bad habits. You know, so when I retired, I was like, you know, I could do a lot of shit, but I go to jail for doing this stuff. So I ended up becoming a, a civilian paramedic. So now I'm certified as a paramedic, and you know, riding a truck, working in the emergency department, and just trying to just increase my skills. Man, so. Journey with people I love, man. So what made you want to start to teach civilians? Um, because, you know, as a, as a medic on a truck, I get to a scene and uh, someone dies because they bled out or someone dies because of XYZ where if the first responder, the family member, whoever it is that identified that person first were to do simple things, tilt the head door, um, as a medic and forward thinking, I'm like, hey, I need to be a force multiplier. I need to train as many people as I can to kind of do what they can until I get there, until another medic unit gets there. So that way we can take over care, do what we can, get them to the hospital so they can take over care. So it's just all about being a force multiplier and creating better outcomes for the patient. And then making sure they're doing things the right way. The right way, yeah. My wife was, way, yeah. was uh, she worked at EMT and everything. And some of the stuff she told me about, like, there was one guy that had his wrist broken, and they wrapped it up with a baseball bat. Mm, okay, that may that may work depending on depending. right, but, but they're, uh, right, but their biggest thing is they couldn't carry it into carry the, that bat into yeah, the hospital sure. and stuff. Yeah, so yeah, yeah it's it, it's uh, I understand where you're coming from on that aspect. So. Yeah. No, it's really good. And then I know you have your Life Fighter 360. Yeah. So that that seems to be a really really good program. I've heard great things about it from yeah. people that have already been through it. I plan on taking that myself yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah I'm, I'm gonna get in there man i gotta get a little weight off nah, I'm get some, you nah. go there you'll lose the weight i know i know you keep telling me that but i want I, I would like i would like to get in a little better shape yeah just so i'm not one of the ones that's back there dragging I got you, or end up being one of the ones y'all are having to carry out I but i hear some really i've heard great things about it man so if you really want to get out get some survival skills and things like that this is the man to come to uh, um you said Colorado and Pennsylvania? Yeah, mainly the main two places. locations, yep. So we're in Colorado, high desert, so you get that desert environment. You know, it's kind of dry, and the weather changes, you know. And then also um, uh, Pennsylvania, you get, you get uh, terrain like we're out right now. Lots of mountains, lots of hills, and lots of food, you know what I mean? So it's just learning how to live off the land, you know. Because you you're teaching also some trapping stuff with that um, as well? Yeah, yeah, because, I mean, you got to learn, you know, some, right. some places plants you can't eat, but exactly. most animals you can, so this kind of, it's real basic stuff, you know, no one's going to survival, you know, so you're not right. going to have, like, trapping gear with you, it's going to, like, what can I use right now, the kind right. of trapping game that I have in my area. I, I think so, those yeah. are, are very, very great skills that, that everybody needs, yeah. because if if things really go bad, that's that's what you're going to have yeah. to rely on right yeah. there. There's no Whole Foods, there's no... Right, right, you're not going to have Publix yeah, to go Publix, to and stuff, yeah. so... Uh, yeah. Yeah, you gotta you gotta be able to, to live off of what you have around you. That because I like the show alone. Oh yeah, yeah I like yeah. that show a lot because yeah. that's that's a lot of what they do and yeah. watching some of the stuff that they do in there, especially with some of the traps and stuff, is is really neat. So yes, I, I am looking forward to getting signed up for it oh, yeah. and taking it and learning a lot of that stuff because that's one area that I'm weak in. I couldn't. Yeah. I mean, you take me out with a rifle, or you know, I'll I'll hunt yeah. it and we we can shoot it and all that stuff. But trapping, man, I am yeah. totally clueless. That's yeah. That's a, almost a foreign language for me. But I appreciate you coming out here, yeah, man, and exactly. teaching the medical stuff. And uh, yeah. it's always a fun experience yeah. with you, man. Uh, yeah. So check out a Kill Bay, uh, TaylorDefenseGroup.com, yeah. correct? Uh, Taylor Defense Training Group or uh, Light Fighter 365 is the easier one. 
L I T E Fighter 365.com. So light fighter. Light. I was saying light fighter. Okay. Yeah, like, so thank you for correcting yeah, me. Being awesome. light, super light on our feet. I got you. Not having a lot of gear. Just using what we have to get done. I got you. Yeah. It's, it's, it, since I met you at Shot Show a few years ago, it's, it's been a pleasure knowing you, man, and, oh, yeah. and working with you. And like I said, the medical was just absolutely awesome. I know everybody was talking about. We were talking about it riding back to the Good hotel deal. and everything. So it was a fun, fun experience. Look, check this guy out. Get signed up for his classes. Go learn how to survive off the lands. Medical stuff. This is the man to come to. If you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range. Drinking on.